He's looking to do the same to his opponent here. Put your hands together. It's Optimus! And on the other side of the Howling Abyss, representing Team Ice. Well, his bullets, they never miss. It's Uzi! Time to lock and load, gentlemen. All right, so Optimus versus Uzi. You know, you heard it. Optimus took down Bebe, or BB. I, I always do that. I'm so terrible. But um, it's, always, it's actually the worst, too, because I'm a former player, and I used to get super tilted when people would say my name wrong. And now I'm that guy, and I'm just like, damn it. Screw that guy. Why? Yeah. There's a lot of players. Now you know. Now, yeah, you, now no. you get to see at the other side what's it like. <sighs> right? As yeah. <Zio>? Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, Creepo. Creepo. So. <laughs> That's the problem with my name, man. Like, they find, like, so many unique... Either they go Creepo, or they go, like, Crapo, and either way, like, you correct them, it's still wrong. Yeah. All the Europeans uh, would call me a Zeal. Zeal? A Zeal. Because they're used to the item, or... Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't in World of Warcraft, but, right. it, but it could be that. Maybe they're seeing it in the future. They were ready for the superior Exactly, game exactly. We all were. Welcome to the Mothership. All right, let's see. Caitlyn Barris being banned. Draven on the other side. So these guys do not like AD carries, it seems. No, definitely not. And uh, I don't think that you want to play an AD carry duel against Uzi. So Probably not. Uh, it makes a lot of sense that you're going to take him off the table. And, and he could even leave Lucian up if you wanted. Like, if you have a plan against Lucian, I don't think that Lucian is, is that dominant. But that's going to be taken off. So this is... In my opinion, probably the four strongest in this mode of AD carries. Yeah, it has to be like a LeBlanc ban. Uh, I would argue that like Ezreal is a, a fine one v one champion as well that we really haven't seen. It's a little awkward to build him maybe. Yeah. Because you're you're so mana centric, but Ezreal has one of the highest damages uh, in my opinion, like level one. If you can just straight off the bat, if you can like yeah. kind of get around the minion wave somehow, you can really deal really good trades with all the teams. Certainly, and, and if if you do get into all ins and you do have your passive stack, the extra attack speed that you give is something that can be underestimated a lot of the time. Uh, people aren't always kind of taking that in consideration, but all AD carry bans. LeBlanc, like you said, is on the table. You're playing Nasus. Uzi blind. I think you should go for the LeBlanc. The counter would actually be like a Nasus. Who yeah, I, perform. I think Nasus. You build tanky, like you build MR and stuff. A couple of Dorans, then you just build a Cowl or whatever, you can farm it out. That could be quite effective against the LeBlanc, but LeBlanc actually has so much damage, and with the chains, you can kind of lock down uh, even some of these tanks and, and eventually take them out. Especially against a champion with a slower kind of gap closer animation. Like, Arcane Shift is very like loaded on the front side, I feel, that like you can always connect a chain. It's not large enough for you to get out of chain range either, so in that sense, it is a good matchup. Jace. But Quinn. we won't see oh, it wow. at the end okay. of the So we have seen Quinn. Before we did see Quinn uh, once, I believe it was actually. Oh, who was it? Who played it? I totally did not cast all these one v ones, and she should definitely not yeah, notice. I'm totally speaking out right <laughs> now. I was Mad Life. I'm pretty sure Mad Life yep. actually did play uh, the Quinn, and we did see Bjergsen obviously play Jace. Uh, Jace is is definitely very strong in the one v ones. Quinn's all in though cannot be underestimated, and this champion with the, the Harrier procs, I believe it is, are yeah. so much damage. The problem is that Quinn doesn't. Get usually, oh, usually the problem is that Quinn doesn't get value from her ulti as much. Yeah. The same thing kind of can be said from Jace. Uh, they have really interesting trading patterns. Um, Jace is good in 1v1s if he can hit both the range creeps with a Q or an empowered Q and the enemy champion and then can speed up through his own gate, walk up, triple shot in the face, switch forms and hammer time. That is kind of what he wants to do. But it is hard against a good Quinn playing around with that vault. Yeah, certainly. You can actually uh, vault the Jace Q, I believe, yeah, and, and, and stop away. that. Yep. So that, that is something that's a really unique interaction. And if you do try to go aggressive as Quinn and you try to use the vault to refresh the Harrier proc and get the extra damage, then the Jace can Q onto you free, basically. And it, it's kind of, there's a back and forth there. Yeah, I wonder if oh, damage... Jace e? If the, if, yeah, well, the Jace E can knock her out of it for, for sure, but she'll still bounce back far enough. But I wonder if the damage actually still sticks on the Q. It used to be, like, super flashable, but I, I somehow feel that if even if the Quinn gets the kind of the leap off to dodge the Q landing, she'll still take a significant amount of damage. Yeah, I'm not super sure about that interaction, but either way, it is pretty interesting because you spoke about the Shock Blast, right? You spoke about hitting hitting the back range minions and everything, and Quinn, it's kind of similar that you're dealing with, right? The Quinn Q, uh, you can push, you can hit the range minions with that as well, and you also have to, both champions want to keep minions in between them and the other champion, but not get too close to those minions to get splashed by the abilities. Yeah, and you spoke about this kind of hybrid AD style loss game where you Yes, you are an AD carry that can go all in, but you're focusing more on sustaining, become kind of a bit of a bruiser. Uzi's doing something similar. Very heavy on mana region, 1.7 in total. He has a lifesteal 
Uh, Quint as well built in, and he is running 18-0, 12. 12 points in resolve, really going for a more sustained approach here. Yeah, I, th I think this is really smart, and it'll be interesting to see if he is even going to go like one step past that to do what Levy did and kind of start building some armor and that kind of thing. And if we contrast that to Optimus, he is definitely much more around the kind of all-in aspect. He's running 7.5% CDR. So basically what he wants to do is get a good trade and go back in again and kind of outpace the cooldowns from Uzi. But that generally means stylistically that Uzi's approach is safer for uh, basically a 1v1 holistically. Yeah, I would think so. I think going for a CDR is pretty risky. Um, it's, it's something where... You have to constantly get those trades. You kind of have to constantly do it, and your opponent can play around that and back off. Yeah, we see that in the Masteries as well. Yes, both of these guys are running Warlords, but there are 12 points in Cunning. Yeah. That's the middle tree for people that actually don't know what they're called, which is basically the all-in aspect, you know, where you run things like the Green Flower's Gift or Merciless, which basically gives you much more execute damage. Yeah, and even, I believe it's Assassin Mastery, yeah, which is the extra damage. So he has the Ignite too, so everything speaks about the fact that he wants to all-in. But the problem with that is it becomes pretty choreographed. When you see your opponent yeah. is running CDR, if you click on them, you see that kind of thing. You see that, you know, he is running Green Father's uh, Grace, all this. Yeah. You just know that you have to play a bit more defensively. And then stylistically, how do you beat that? Well, you just pressure him and you get some allies, right? And the, those allies are the minions. And because as Uzi, you can have more liberties when you're pushing. Yeah. You can take some damage, sustain it back up. Whereas Optimus, he really wants to hold himself for that one big moment. Pretty poor uh, Q in there from Optimus, honestly, allowing Uzi to bounce back. Uzi, all he needs to do is keep his range and avoid the EQ combos around level 5. Exactly. Uzi has more sustain. He has the defensive trees. He has the lifesteal and the mana regen and the masteries. And uh, he is honestly, in my opinion, a much easier win condition than his opponent. And it's kind of the same sort of thing that we saw Levy force his opponent into, where Optimus is eventually probably going to come to the realization where it's like, crap, I have to all in, yeah. don't I? Oops. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Strong trade here in between with from Uzi. Gets a CS advantage. Sees a, a way in. Optimus. Even though these styles are like nuances, these are still champions with a lot of high base damages, so that in itself is honestly the first layer of decision making. Can I hit this guy in the face? Yes, then go for it. And we've seen a continuous minion advantage here from Uzi. Yeah. Versus a champion that's generally known for pushing on Jace. 12 CS up al already uh, is pretty big. He is going to be able to close the gap a little bit, but Optimus is getting relatively low on HP. If Uzi can get there, he got the relic! Ooh. And he gets both summoners from Optimus, which is brutal. Oh, close there, though, because if that relic goes to Optimus, suddenly yep. all our theory goes under the window and Uzi gets smashed in the head. And even though he was so confident he was getting that relic that he did not even want to use the exhaust on maximum or the barrier, yeah. to slow Optimus. Yeah, and, and that's that's the fact is it wasn't even really that close because he still has both the summoners. He did get a little bit low on HP, but now he bases. He's going to have a much better buy, I would assume here. We'll see what he decides to spend all his uh, gold on. So it's going to be pretty aggressive. Not going to go for the cloth armor route. I actually think that after a argue with for it. Yeah, I, I think that when you're already this far ahead, your opponent has already kind of blown his summoners and stuff, you can definitely afford to go uh, for those more defensive routes. Yeah, unless you, you're Uzi and you just feel so confident in like knowing the yeah. damage range that you can optimize your style. This is probably like a higher yield, but lower variance if you go for the, the sword. Yes, you, yeah. you get screwed if you screw uh, if you mess up, but if you keep the push going, then obviously you can lock this chase on a turret and he has nothing else to do. And the fact of the matter is, when you're two summoners to zero, Uzi might just want to kill this guy, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> people, yes, winning on, on CS is super legit, but you'd rather kill the guy, I mean, right? in front of the crowd, the crowd yeah. has definitely shown us what they think about somebody who plays for CS. The crowd wants blood! <laughs> Like gladiators. Yeah, exactly. It's just like the gladiator movie, except in this in this movie, they don't respect the mercy. The mercy of leaving your opponent alive no, no. and killing only the minions. Thumbs down every Thumbs time. Thumbs down every time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this is actually uh, like a hidden thing that's overlooked as well. There's no safety in brushes uh, versus the Quinn, obviously, since you had that reveal. Map hacks. Good poke from Optimus. Answers there on Uzi. Uzi looking for some sustain before he goes in again. Good vault. Good answer on the trades. Every time Uzi vaults, he's getting a shot class in the face. He's going low right now, though. Tag. There's the exhaust. He's yeah. looking for the kill here. Should have it. So well played by Uzi. I, I think that this is, is like what Levy did, but one step better, yeah. right? He had the win condition of the 100 CS. He outthought his opponent. He had better build. I think he had better runes and everything to set up. And then he just kills the guy. <laughs> they were blocked by the cameras. <laughs> like, how do I get this? this yeah, anyway, okay, walk around, walk around. Uh, yeah, and it basically, like, it, it was very seamless. It feels like he was kind of like second, na second nature. Like, I don't yeah. think he 
as a player is thinking about, oh yes, right here, because if I make that trade,